at the train depot there's a train depot it's a puzzle that's why he's puzzled but it's an actual puzzle that you can work on these are the red cliffs of New Mexico and the Santa Fe train line coming through. The logs are loaded, we're heading for the mill. Here's the Atchison, Topeka and the Santa Fe. All aboard! Coming down the mountain. This is the West Point, the last steamer. Number 16, heading out. Bringing the logs down for milling. Go ahead and pause the camera. Go ahead and stop the camera. This is Wild Bill of Wild Bill's Wild West shows. We finally arrived at the Red Boost Cafe for that fantastic tri-dip sandwich and here we are uh, interviewing the owners and Teresa Claiborne and they've been operating the Red Boot Caboose Cafe I can't wait to show you the videos and the pictures of the fantastic train member be there but one thing I really am curious every time I come and eat here Richard is how you develop such a fantastic collection of train member over here. Over the years uh, my clients have given me a lot of the stuff that I have on the walls They've had them stored and saved from years past, and they came in and donated them, so therefore I can put it up where everybody can see it. That's fantastic. The one that's actually a puzzle is that that would be uh, lady, one of our, one of our clients, who put that together for us, but she really enjoyed coming to the restaurant, and she wanted to contribute something to the restaurant, and that's what she did. She put that puzzle together and framed it for us. Fantastic. And now the, there's a train that goes up in a top on top, right? The, yeah, I have, I have a large train, it's an G-scale train, and my customers that have businesses take and decorate the train cars with their business's name, their business name. So what it is, it's a rolling advertisement, so when I pull the cars around, people are looking up there, and they can see the different advertisements that people put up in the restaurant, which makes it fun. A lot of fun. And Teresa, are you, are you running in the restaurant as well? And I know it was a full lunch crowd today when I came. Uh, it's usually been busy when I, I haven't been from here for breakfast, but you have a breakfast as well? We do an excellent breakfast and we also do a dinner on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We do a prime rib or a ribeye steak or coconut shrimp, uh, just a full parameter of food for dinner. It's a, it's a nice dinner. Very important. Fantastic. You're not too far from Fresno either, either are you? No, uh, we're 10 minutes from the uh, service hospital. If you come straight out of Bergen to the academy, it's just 10 minutes out and we're down south at Academy and Shaw. Academy and Shaw. And uh, and you've been here how long? 
We've been at this location for a little over two years. We've been in business for a little over 17 years. Well, I think the, uh, the train memorabilia really makes it a cut above everything else. Otherwise, it would just be a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? But when you go there and sit there and relax and see the past, that's really makes it a difference. Yeah, we have a lot of history on the trains that were developed in the uh, Bass Lake area and up at uh, Big Bear Picture for me of the, uh, of the uh, train depot, the downtown Clovis. And then we had him paint a big mural for us, uh, depicting the train, the Clovis Cole Hotel, and then the train depot down there. Fantastic. And then what's your best uh, best one for lunch? I usually think that barbecue tri-tip. The tri-tip is excellent. We have a lot of good, good products. We do a, a, a good hamburger. I mean, the hamburgers are excellent. And then we do the uh, buzzard junction, or the buzzard, which is a, a chicken breast with mushrooms and uh, homemade honey, uh, honey mustard sauce. The tri-tip is so good because I smoke it in red oak, which I get from the coast. Everybody talks about smoking meat, but they all use fruit wood and grape sticks, and those all have pesticide sprayed on it for 20 years. So what I get is just a natural wood, so there's no pesticides or anything that would contaminate the meat in any way. I notice you have a nice uh, extra room in the back for like for banquets. Yeah, I have a big patio with a seat about 80 plus people. We had a big party there the other night. Um, and we did smoked tri chips and chicken breast and, and a lot of different things. So we can do a full parameter of catering for anybody. Fantastic. And how do they reach you? What's the phone number over here? The phone number here at the restaurant is 297-9545. That's 559. 559-297-9545. And we have a website, it's Red Caboose Cafe, uh, dot com. Okay, Red, Red Caboose Cafe, you can find them over here. And don't forget, it's not that far from Fresno. It's a nice, easy ride. Come on out of this way and uh, come out to the Red Caboose Cafe and enjoy all the memorabilia. We're going to shoot some of those pictures and have it as part of our building video. So I uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bringing the logs down for milling. This is a rendition of the Clovis, California area and the original Clovis Coal Hotel. Nothing like a train to stir up memories.